Aloha YouTube, this is your boy Crypto Roots and I'm back at it again spitting Mo Crypto Game, the DeFi Kingpin, the Blockchain Hustler, Dreddy Nakamota, you know what I'm saying, Mr. Crypto Exotic, Crypto Marley, Crypto Bomber, you know what I'm saying, shouts out to Elon Marley, you know what I'm saying, so I didn't know nothing about computer science, I didn't know nothing about computer programming, I was broke, I was homeless, and I needed to change my life, so I decided I need to teach myself a skill so that I would never, you know, be broke. So I spent years teaching myself computer science. And throughout the years, I've picked up tools, techniques, programs, things that just help me learn, study, and work more productively. Now, I use a Linux computer. By the way, we mining that garlic shmoney, that garlic coin 24-7. I'm mining that garlic, by the way, just so you know, just so you know. So, um, and there's going to be some alpha at the end of this video for, for you guys watching. Now, I want to go over this for new people to cryptocurrency. This is for new people to crypto, uh, uh, computer science, you know, and I'm going to show you all the little tools and techniques. Now I use Ubuntu Linux and there's a lot of pros of why I use Linux. Linux is going to be challenging for new people who are, have only used MacBooks and, uh, Windows computers. But I use Linux Ubuntu, uh, Ubuntu 18 right now. Um, and it works well for me. It works well for me. So as far as the browser I use, I have Brave Browser, but I don't use Brave Browser. I mainly use uh, Firefox. So I recommend everybody to have Firefox. The reason I use Firefox is because of the extensions. And I'm going to go over them. I got the Dark Reader, the MetaMask, some of these extensions. Uh, hit me up and I can go later and I should have more extensions but they really help me uh, manage and personalize my experience using the uh, internet the browser so definitely got to have Firefox in my opinion and it's good for developers that's why I mainly use it and brave is cool too brave gets you the ads but the ads are kind of centralized through uphold that's another downside um, also it Brave has their own crypto wallet and it kind of uh, messes up with MetaMask. So I do have Brave as a second browser in case things don't work for Firefox, but I definitely recommend to have Firefox and Brave. I do not recommend Google Chrome. Google is the beast. Do not feed the beast all your data. Okay. So that's up to you. Use what you want. I recommend Firefox or Brave. Now, once you have that installed, you gotta have MetaMask. You gotta install MetaMask. You gotta write down your private keys, the 12 words, all right, your private keys. Make sure no one has them. Make sure you don't lose them. And you need to send some Ethereum to your MetaMask, all right? The way you can do that is through Coinbase. I don't use Coinbase, that's why it's not up here. Um, as far as how I, I get paid in cryptocurrency, right? So. Uh, but if you want to buy cryptocurrency, you would sign up with Coinbase or any other platform and send it to your MetaMask. But as you can see, you want to have the browser, have Firefox, and have MetaMask installed. All right, I'm on deck. Now, once you got that crypto wallet, because that crypto wallet is going to help you, is, go, is what you need to access the decentralized web and start investing in decentralized finance. All right. So once you get that, you're going to need to set up a new email address, protonmail.com, crypto roots at protonmail.com. It's an encrypted email address, all right? And that's what you need to protect your data. If you have a Gmail, have a Yahoo, have all that stuff, it doesn't protect your data. They have all access to your, and even hackers. And if you're gonna be dealing with cryptocurrency, you gotta you got be careful about some of these email addresses you use. If you sign up for Proton Mail, your messages are encrypted in and they're encrypted out, okay? So they don't have access to your emails. You own the private keys to your emails, all right? So there's a free version you can sign up and there's a paid version. They also have a VPN. VPNs, eh, there's, uh, I'm, I'm up and down about VPNs, but Pro, ProtonMail does, that have, does have their own, okay? So, you will, everything you sign up for, everything you do, and everything you sign up for, make sure it goes to your ProtonMail address, all right? And any of the old emails, start migrating that to ProtonMail address. Make this your main email address. You start to protect and feel more secure about your email addresses, your data, okay? This is how I always rock with a ProtonMail address. Now, once you got that all set up, this is where we start to learn how to uh, get more into computer science, more into programming, and start picking up a new skill, uh, especially something that we can do online. And one of the ways I started 
was freecodecamp.org. Free Code Camp. Seriously, they'll teach you everything for free. For free. Like, if you were to just do 15 to 30 minutes a day within six months, you could have a new skill. You could be a web developer. You're going to teach you HTML, CSS, JavaScript, all, you know, and it'll get you going and start to figure out where you want. And you can do front end, you can do back end, you can do cloud. It teaches you everything. And you really can't ask for much like a university course, you know, for free. All it takes is for you to follow the lessons. Thousands upon thousands and thousands of people have done this. And they have a huge community. Go on YouTube, go on Reddit and type in free code camp. So, and they have their own form, over 6,000 tutorials. I'm telling you, this is all you need. You don't need to pay to go to school, or pay to go to university or any of that shit. Just stick with free code camp, stick it out. Most people get lazy, most people aren't disciplined enough, but the people who are, usually end up finding some type of bread in a, in a new skill in a new community just from this website freecodecamp.org so I've done it uh, I go back and I freshen up and it's what helped me get get to the level of understanding in computer science I'm on so definitely need that free code camp is free sign up with your proton mail address okay all right folks now once you get that going you're gonna need a code editor and the most popular professional and beginner code editor is Visual Studio Code, VS Code, all right? You can download it, it download it, it's free, all right? And they have extensions. Don't worry if none of this makes sense. It's very easy and intuitive, all right, after you get it. After you've done some lessons in uh, Free Code Camp, this is going to be easier. It's just the text editor. It's just the place where you write your code, but that's what you're going to need. You're going to need a text editor. Uh, to learn how the game works as you can see I have VS code down here visual studio code is on deck All right, it's always on deck Now once you got that visual studio code, you're gonna need some way to get uh, Decentralized a version of YouTube. So I'm gonna leave a link down in the description description, but it's lbry TV This is a decentralized version of YouTube. You cannot be banned. They can't take down your videos They have their own blockchain. They have their own currency all right, so this is how many LBC tokens I have. You'll have to go to CoinGecko and look that up. But it's another one of the ways I make passive income. Uh, it's from LBRY. I'll leave a link in the description. But this is a decentralized version of YouTube where you can find the real information, the real, real information that YouTube would not allow. Um, and you can find it on LBRY. So I'm always on deck if I need to find the real, real game. Okay, now. Once you got that set up, once you got the real information, got the Visual Studio Code, you're gonna sign up for GitHub. GitHub, this is where I post all my software code. You sign up with your Proton mail address, okay? This is where I write all my uh, computer code, Solidity code, hard hat, tutorials, right? I'm still learning the game, you know, but I'm, I'm taking the game very seriously, right? It's some of the smart contracts I've worked with, right? All right, so yes, I can read all this code. All right, this is the version of Solidity. This is the contract name. These are the uh, state variables. This is the struct, the mapping, and these are the different functions. All right, that this uh, contract has. Okay, migrations. That's so. So you're gonna need this is, and you're gonna need to. Uh, you're gonna need to sign up for GitHub. This is where all the computer scientists around the world post their code is where I find all my code I'm telling you like you could do anything on get any type of code on github you know so I'm gonna be uh, pushing more and more code to github as I learn the game but you definitely want to get in this. this okay this is this is where it's all at as far as software and computer code all right now once you get that set up if you got a Windows computer I definitely recommend you start migrating and shifting and learning about Linux and it's open source it's free it's safer you don't have to set up an antivirus it's hella chill every you can it's just a whole different way of how computers are work and all professional developers in my opinion use Linux uh, for the most part and you can get it for free if you have the Microsoft Store on Windows 10 all right if you have Windows 10 you can get it Ubuntu I'm already running it so that, there you go but if you have Linux it's called a dual boot where you can uh, run Linux on your Windows without affecting your Windows, so it'll be like a separate operating system uh, on your or on your computer, right? It's a little more you know challenging to learn because you got to learn the terminal and command line, but I could teach you all that. 
Um, so these are some of the things you're going to need to kind of just really jump in the game and start learning um, how, how just all the tools you need. Like I'm already very well versed with this stuff. I work with it on an everyday base, basis. There's more and more technologies I'm working with and learning, and I'm just very excited and I wanna share this with you guys. Now for the alpha of today, you see this? this is a Swash app. Wait a second, you're gonna start, it takes a while to load, but you're gonna see that I'm making, there you go. I'm making passive income just from using my browser. This is a browser extension. So go to swashapp.l and you can join a data union. This is for free. And because there are Facebook and uh, Google and everything, they're already taking your data and reselling it, and you're not getting any cut of it, right? So if you sign, if you just install this extension, it encrypts your data, it sells it, and you get 30% of the cut. And the cut is called Data Token, Data Streamer. You got to pull up Coin Gecko, pull up Coin Gecko, Data Streamer, right? So you get this for free. It's another form of passive income. You know, so I, and I'll, I make. There's just too many ways to make bread being online right so if we look up data give it a second there you go data streamer all right this is the coin you're going to be getting for free all right and so do your due diligence you can choose what information they do and don't uh you do and don't want to share but uh swash that swash that app Dot io and it can go up in value now last but not least there's a garlic coin faucet that i collect garlic coin from twice a day you don't get that much but it's better than nothing and i'm plus i'm mining garlic coin so it's doubling up my bread so i believe garlic coin i'm shilling garlic coin i think it's fun i think it's a meme coin and one day i think it could be a dollar so uh this is where you can get some free garlic coin so swash that app uh, passive income and in cryptocurrency for just sharing your uh, browser uh, data information from it to a data union and then garlic coin faucet so yeah folks hopefully you learned a little bit if you just jumping in the game computer science you're still new these are some of the tools and techniques some of the tools and programs and you that I use online to help me make a living and to learn and to teach so uh, holla at your boy crypto roots if you want to take it to the next level there's the next level of actually implementing this and learning how to you know put all this together and actually figure out how to make learn a new skill and make some money so i got you hit me up for a consultation much love peace